So we also grabbed a chicken pot pie. Tonight is a study night for me, so I need to throw this in the oven ASAP. Be Hey fam, Sarah here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a grocery haul for you guys and I have been going back and forth between like really putting up a lot of grocery hauls. I I really just want to focus mostly on vlogs. So this is going to be like a vlog style grocery haul um, and it is from Costco. Now a big part of the reason why I want to share this is because I'm on a new journey. I'm, I've been on a healthy journey before but I am really trying this time around and I am going to show you some of the things that I eat within this grocery haul as I'm going through and then I'm also you also get kind of like a big um a bigger picture of what kinds of things our family eat we're a big family we're, we have seven people in our family and so grocery groceries do cost money and especially that we live in Canada groceries are a little bit pricier here but you know sometimes it's interesting to see these kinds of things um some of you are curious to know like what our grocery budget is and what um how much we spend on food every month and um yeah we'll kind of show it to you so hubby did one recently i think it was from costco as well but i was not i was feeling under the weather so he actually did it for me and so i will insert this one in here it might be before this haul for today or it will be after and then i have this one for today this total was i think 260 he said and it was really just kind of picking up some stuff to throw in our freezer as well as picking up some of the everyday things that we need so i'm going to jump right into it and i'll explain as i go along starting off with the milk we grabbed some milk and if you guys missed the last haul i have started drinking um almond milk again so i'm not even drinking this stuff we grabbed some cauliflower rice. We do have some in the freezer, but we just needed a little bit more. This is one of my go-tos now for my healthy eating, for my diet. I'm not necessarily on a diet, but I am trying to eat more like low calorie dense um, foods. So foods that have a lot more water, foods that are a little less starchy, a little less heavy um, is what I go to. And obviously just basic things from the earth, <laughs> just natural things that are not like, you know, made with oils and made with dough and extra additives and stuff like that. So this is one of my go-tos. We grabbed bagels because of course kids love to eat stuff like that. They some avocados and we also got some what? Pretzels. Pretzels? Yeah. We have kind of been on this no meat journey, but it's not technically no meat because we're still eating it, but we haven't been buying large amounts of meat in our grocery hauls. So if we ordered pizza on a Friday, then we had we could have meat on it. Or if we bought some chicken tenders, like we, it was bought, but not like in the grocery haul itself. Uh, not buy, Our grocery haul bill has actually reduced quite a bit since we haven't been picking up meats as consistently as we did before meats are super expensive like a package of chicken breast is thirty dollars however we're still eating fish and fish is still pricey so i'm going to show you the two package of fish that we just bought and this was roughly like sixty dollars so we did pick up the sockeye salmon guys and remember i revealed in a vlog and said that this fish costed about forty five dollars or forty three dollars it was in shock to be fair when I discovered how much it costed but it is good stuff and you get quite a bit in there though you can't see through the package you do get quite a few fillets in there so you're getting you know a fair amount but I was still shocked and then we also picked up the tilapia that we like this is like a quick kind of fish to cook it's simple it picks up the flavors of whatever you kind of season it with you know it's a light fish it's also not as expensive i think this is like maybe 20 bucks and it's it cooks really easy i'm not sure if i said that already but yeah also grab some hot dog buns i told hubby to not buy any hot dogs this week because honestly i'm just trying to have us stay away from a lot of like the processed stuff and hot dogs have a lot of sodium but the problem is he bought these buns and now we do have an excess of buns so i'm pretty sure we'll be throwing a bunch of these in the freezer because we don't have that many hot dogs and i wasn't really planning on picking any up 
so we'll have to figure that out the little one has been obsessed with brioche buns like she constantly requests it so we picked some up for her we also grabbed a chicken pot pie tonight is a study night for me so I need to throw this in the oven ASAP because I don't want to cook tonight I just I'm just trying guys I just finished braiding my hair after basically braiding it for two days straight I'm exhausted we grabbed some cozy shack pudding this some bananas we also grabbed some spinach so I do have some currently in the fridge I've been making omelets hubby's been making omelets so we have definitely been loading up on our spinach and getting tons and tons of iron <laughs> I'm thinking of just either pack either packaging it and putting it in the freezer or making some smoothies like ASAP <laughs> because I know this stuff will go bad and start to wilt if I don't use it up. We also bought some cranberry cereal, some waffles. So this is a problem. <laughs> Abby picked up chicken strips. I didn't put this on the list, but this is different because we haven't been buying meats like that. So here we go again. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking the little one will love this kind of stuff though because she does like chicken strips when I tell you it's a struggle to still get this kid to eat It's still a struggle. She is so finicky like such a picky eater and She even thinks it's okay to negotiate with me like she'll tell me I'll eat the healthy stuff later uh, I remember when my eldest was small and She didn't want to eat anything and the doctor told me it's okay to just kind of like don't give her anything she'll eat when she's hungry and I literally felt like I was starving my child for two days so I haven't exactly done that with Zoe because I feel like I don't want to starve her and she's very persistent like you know I don't want her to just keep going and not eating anything so so it's, it's been a challenge to say the least but she'll eat chicken strips and she asks for you know the food from the big M every day very thing very few things in particular but she like I'm very I'm resisting on that one because I really need her to get her act together and eat right <laughs> so. so we also grabbed some apples all right these are our favorite apples we grabbed muffins and of course we grabbed um, chocolate chip and double chocolate back to the healthier stuff that I can eat so of course I told you I was gonna eat spinach I'll eat bananas I try to eat a lot of the whole stuff um, so we got Brussels sprouts I was hoping that we could get our hands on some carrots because I do like to chop these up together and roast them in the oven but babes were he couldn't find them we grabbed some kale and I'm about to actually do a little meal prep so you, you might get some meal prepping in this video where you see me meal prepping some fish with some salad just to have something you know we did buy our sweet Sweet kale salad and we bought two of them because we do plan on meal prepping them I'm hoping that when I put them in a container they'll last a little longer than they would in here we also grabbed some chips and hubby bought these last week I'm not even a fan of chips chips or dill pickle and I like I tried them and I really like them so we grabbed some more of that and then we also grabbed some regular ones for the kids who don't like that kind of stuff we also grabbed grapes babes bought some grapes from the local grocery store this week and they were gross like half of them were bad and they were and food has been is pricey like it's not like this stuff is cheap so couldn't return it at, at all we actually just kind of picked through it but a lot of them were bad so hopefully these are better they weren't from costco by the way the ones that were bad was, were from a local grocery store we also grabbed some eggs because we're down to like 14 i think in the fridge and the great debate is we probably should you know we should pick some up because it seems like we have a lot but with seven people it doesn't go very so far. one thing i just wanted to point out one thing that you guys may notice about our hauls is that we don't have a lot of sauces or buy a lot of sauce based products and that we've been doing this for quite some time and there's a pretty much a legitimate a good reason as to why we don't do that is because those things just come with a lot of excess extra fat and salt and things like that so obviously we don't eat perfectly and I don't know anyone that does but we try not to buy too many of those things of course we buy condiments and things of that sort but we do buy them in bulk so throughout our grocery hauls you don't see them frequently because we do buy them in, a, in bulk that we do have some in our storage room at times and that we're basic we basically just have like backup so that's why you don't see that 
But in terms of sauces, we do our best to try not to buy too many sauces and sauce-based stuff because it's just filled with a lot of artificial um, I'm actually about to prepare some food. We're not I'm going to cook supper. And I just food. wanted to show you guys how, exactly how many fillets come in here. So there are three right there. We got four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we got roughly eight in there. And I thought, that was, I thought it was more, but honestly, the eight isn't bad because these ones are large and they can get cut in half it's just a lot of fish when i eat just a whole one it still it just feels like a ton of fish and and being that it's salmon too it's the one that you actually have to watch you can't eat too much of it so it's not bad it's, it's actually quite perfect frank isn't it frank it's frank. you guys so I just opened my meal prep containers to find that one has like this discrepancy at the edge. Can you guys see it? Look, it's like broken. It's so annoying because I'm not going to send it back now. Anyways, um, I've gone ahead and I'm going to go ahead and wash out about five of these, I think, to put some of the food that I'm making in. I'm kind of debating because I'm like, cauliflower is a veggie, isn't it? <laughs> but I feel like I really should be putting some solid vegetables with this. I don't want to be up cooking right now, so I think I'm just going to do like a simple salad and stick it in the sides of it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Or we have cabbage in the fridge. So, I mean, it's not going to even go cabbage and cauliflower, Ugh, but it's there and I feel like we should eat it. So maybe that could go. <sighs> For the record, though, for those of you guys who know that I'm trying out Noom, I did so well today. I haven't eaten any sugar. Well, I actually ate Nutella at some point today, but I didn't eat any chocolate chocolate, even though we have tons of it here. So I feel really good about that, and that's why I'm trying so hard to kind of fix myself up so I can stick to the plan and eat as decent as I can, you know? Because this new method of eating is just totally different than what I'm used to and what you even are being taught ever, so. I wanna test out this container too to see how it works. I, I wish I could send it back to Amazon, but that's so annoying. Shoot. Hey guys, it's Aaron here from the Zebra Tribe fam. Sarah's not feeling well, unfortunately. You know, I pray that she's getting better. It's not nothing emergency wise, but uh, she's just not feeling well. And I came home with a load of groceries. So I'm going to do the grocery haul. So let's have some fun. I'm going to jump right into the grocery haul here. This is the Costco grocery haul. Uh, we haven't been shopping as frequently as, at Costco as we have in the past because we're just trying to, uh, you know, minimize our uh, our meat consumption and uh, improve our vegetable consumption. <laughs> you know, healthier foods. That's what we're aiming for. Um, it's not always the case. No one's perfect. Uh, certainly, I'm not perfect, and I succumb to temptations regarding food. But Let's jump in. So first off, we do have a meat item here. <laughs> meat alternative. Some light tuna. Now we've been eating more light tuna, but we're conscientious of the fact that we shouldn't eat too much. So we have like maybe one can, two cans a week at most. Uh, we got our bread here. This is the con common bread that we've been getting, Asian grain with quinoa. Um, Sarah and the kids love this bread. Um, I don't eat as much bread per se, but uh, when I do, it, it tastes pretty good. I'm more of a white bread guy, but but this whole wheat bread, I'll definitely eat. Got some uh, sesame seed bagels, jalapeno cheese bagels, definitely a staple. Next, we got the brioche buns, guys. We got some nice broccoli, guys, florets. Oh yeah, I just like the word florets. But yeah, we got some nice florets. We got some ice avocados. Now we bought some avocados at another grocery store, and then we regretted not getting them at Costco. <laughs> so definitely, uh, Costco is very consistent with their level of avocado quality. We got some Brussels sprouts here, guys. I've grown to love these. I used to not be a Brussels sprouts lover, but um, Sarah's turned me over to the dark side. Got some asparagus here too, guys. This was on sale, um, so we picked this up. Um, 
Yeah, we got some fresh blueberries. Got some bananas. What can I say? This cheddar cheese, this extra old cheddar cheese. Oh my goodness, guys. We've been eating so much of this. So good. Um, Two-year-old cheddar cheese. Oh, so good. It's sharp. It's delicious. It's old. Milk. I got this mostly for Zoe. Um, I, I know that sounds terrible, feeding my four-year-old pizza pops. But we just have them for snack, generally. And she doesn't, you know, she doesn't mind these as a snack. I don't mind them as a snack. She eats wholesome foods a lot of the time, so we can give in to pizza pops. Now we got some cereal. Uh, I picked up some chocolate-covered almonds as, um, you know, I gave in to the sweet side. This looks really appealing for some reason. This Dunn's Dill Pickle chips. I don't know, this like this jar of pickles on the side. Really, this advertisement really got to me. All right, on to the non-food items. We got some toilet paper. Thank God this isn't 2020 anymore. This stuff is uh, really easy to come by. <laughs> Baby wipes, for the same reason we got toilet paper. Just for Zavi. <laughs> and we got makeup wipes. Not really that much to explain there. All right, guys. I found these <clears throat> in the in the clothing aisle. This is really cute, guys. Look at this. These these peckle outfits are really cute. They're last but not least, I picked up these pajamas for Zoe. I know they're size six. Um, you know, if she doesn't fit them now, she'll fit them later. And they're just so adorable. Look how cute they are. Cute, cute, cute. I know. Um, so. <clears throat> so guys that concludes the grocery haul this grocery haul came up to 250 dollars so um you know it wasn't like our typical grocery haul and i picked up a lot of things that we you know only pick up maybe once every six weeks to two months toilet paper baby wipes makeup wipes um yeah otherwise guys pretty reasonable um and this will get us through the week and sometimes a little bit more so guys so so guys that concludes our video um i wasn't gonna put the grocery haul in there because i felt like it was a bit of a repeat there's some things that we obviously picked up the next the following week but you know what i just decided to keep it in because it was nice hubby actually filmed the grocery haul for me because i wasn't feeling very well also um I also didn't do the meal prepping in this video as I said I would. Showed you guys a little bit of a cook with me in a sense, but I didn't complete the meal prep. Um, I don't know what happened. Like almost, I'm kind of questioning if I had extra footage because I may have had extra footage somewhere, but it's just been, I don't know. Anyways, stay tuned for an upcoming um, meal prep video because I am trying to get my life together. It is so hard. Like I've been telling you guys, it is so hard to try to get my eating where I need to get it. Picking up and eating the healthy stuff isn't the problem. It's really just snacking that's also the problem. So I really feel like I'm going to have to go the extra mile and just like getting rid of all the <laughs> junk within the grocery haul. And that to me is like impossible because I've never had to do that completely before. I feel like to just get to where I need to be solidly, it takes like a week or so to get over that hump of like craving the bad stuff. And then I'm back to where I was before. Before, um, earlier after I had the baby, I was so much better than I am now. I don't know how I've just, I'm at the stage where it's just so much harder to hear. And like the guys, the kids and Aaron and them could eat all this stuff around me and I wouldn't eat it. I think it's just my new, I don't know, I've been able to eat more sodium as of late. I'm not sure why my body just kind of got to this place. I was restricting myself to about a thousand milligrams of sodium for many, many years. And then I've been at this place where I'm able to eat so much more. I could eat that in just like a sitting, which is crazy. So I've also packed on a couple extra pounds, which I know is like probably water retention from all the excess salt that I'm now consuming because I wasn't able to consume it before. So it's just like... I just feel a little bit defeated. I need to, I'm trying to reevaluate myself. I'm going to start a journal and just start like just evaluating my choices and my decisions instead of just going day to day and not 
not really, you know, making anything of it. Just hopping from one day to the next. Um, I told you guys about the whole noon thing. I've been so bad in a sense. Like I've started it and I've been better. I guess there's a lot to take in all of a sudden. But I'm going to do a separate video on that. Talking about my experience so far. And we'll see if I... I'm really debating in my head because I'm on a trial period. Like I signed up for the month, but it's like a trial period. They say you have basically 14 days, which you still pay for. You're paying for the trial period, which is funny. But the way the program works is that you have to commit to like an eight month period. So you pay like a solid chunk of money for that eight month period. And I'm trying to think if I really want to do it based on like my experience so far. So I have another seven days, I believe, to kind of try it out. And then I will determine where I'm going with that. But stay tuned. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was just like a little grocery haul. Like I said, sorry, it was like a bit of a repeat. Usually I don't like to put them so close together. But both hauls had complete separate separate things that were also different in it. So that's why I figured why not show it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Thanks for tuning in to today's grocery haul slash vlog. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment. Um, and subscribe if you guys are new. I definitely like to incorporate some of the hauls inside my vlogs towards the end for those of you guys who want to see that kind of stuff from time to time. And yeah, subscribe for a lot of fun daily vlogs. So until next time, y'all. Bye, guys.